Hello students, welcome to today's e-learning session on combustion and flame, part 6, flame. In our earlier lessons, we have learned about the process of combustion, factors essential for the process of combustion and types of combustion. We have also learned that the substance like magnesium, candy and LPG gas tau etc. burns with a flame and charcoal burns with a glow. Now let us look at some facts about the flame. A flame is a visible gaseous region of the fire. A substance which vaporizes during burning gives flame. Observe the color of a candle flame and a flame of a Bunsen burner. We can see candle burns with a yellow flame and gas Bunsen burner burns with a blue flame. Let us do an activity to see the formation of a flame. Place a glass tube near the wick of the burning candle and observe the other end of the glass tube. You can see now the vapors of the wax coming out of the glass tube. Bring a burning mastic near the vapors. You can see the wax vapors coming out of the glass tube and the tip of the glass tube start burning with a flame. This is because molten wax in the candle vaporizes through the wick and these vapors during burning form a flame. Now let us conduct an activity to see the zones of the candle. Light a candle with the help of a matchstick. Surrounding the wick you can see dark zone this is called inner zone where you can see unburnt wax vapors. In the previous activity, you have observed the wax vapors passing through the glass tube. This zone is least hot. In the middle region, you will observe brilliant yellow flame. Carbon burns in this zone giving luminosity to the flame and produce carbon dioxide. So this zone is also called luminous zone. Partial combustion takes place in this region and this zone is moderately hot. The outermost non-luminous zone is faintly visible and slightly blue. This is the hottest part of the zone where complete combustion takes place. Let us do an activity to see how middle zone and outer zone burns. Take a glass plate and introduce inside the luminous zone of the flame and observe what happens. You can see black deposition of carbon on the glass plate. This deposition is due to the partial combustion at the luminous zone. The outermost zone is very hot. We will hold a glass rod in this outermost zone and observe. It has become red hot. You can even bend a glass rod to your required shape when it is red hot. Even a copper wire become red hot in this region due to high temperature. Therefore, hottest zone is used to heat objects. For this reason, goldsmith blow the outer zone of a flame with a metallic blow pipe for the melting gold and silver. In the kitchen, we use LPG gas to cook. It contains butane gas. Combustion is complete in this gas, so we will not get any black deposition on the container we keep. But sometimes we see the flame of the LPG becomes yellow or red due to some blockage in the gas burner due to the incomplete combustion. This generally happens due to the less supply of oxygen and you will observe black deposition over the container on which you have kept the gas burner. Let us now quickly revise what we have learned in this class. A flame is a visible gaseous region of the fire. Flame has three zones, they are dark zone or inner zone is least hot and you can see unburnt 
wax vapor in this region middle zone or luminous zone is moderately hot and partial combustion takes place in this region outer zone or non luminous zone is hottest and complete combustion takes place in this region thank you